If you missed the first episode of this new series, let me catch you up. Jackson and I recently relocated from South Korea to America so that we could spend more time helping our parents in their home. In episode one, we did an extreme declutter of the whole house, and we are back today to tackle this cluttered laundry room. This was before we decluttered in the first episode, but we have to fully embrace the before to really appreciate the after. You can see that there's not a lot of storage on this side of the room and on this side of the space, this is where everything's being stored. A lot of it being art supplies that has gotten moved out to the art studio in the garage and the other stuff we'll be finding homes for throughout the makeover series. Throughout the pandemic, there were three people sharing this two bedroom, one bath house, which we all know can get quite cramped. And one idea that I brought up to them was that there is a lot of space in here and we could actually create a second bathroom for them. They were totally on board with that and in the investment into their home. And while we were decluttering the house, we were also trying to work with a contractor to get everything arranged. So that all took a few weeks. We got everything out of the room and we paid a local contractor to reroute the existing plumbing line so that we were able to install a brand new toilet and sink. So after all of that preliminary work, we were able to get to the fun part, which is designing the new room. We spent a lot of time sitting with paint color just swatched throughout the house so that we could see what it looked like through different times of day and in different spaces. These were on the walls for probably a couple of weeks before we actually made a decision. In the end, we went with this perfect grayish by Sherwin-Williams, but we got it made for us at Home Depot in the bare one coat paint. And that's in an eggshell finish for the walls. And we've already started getting it painted back here because the sink and the toilet have finally been installed. The inspiration for their entire space was not to create something new, but to incorporate things that they already had. That would be the antiques that she's collected over many years, things that she really loves and wants displayed in her home. We also wanted to incorporate the geography of their home, which is in the Pacific Northwest, and their home is over 100 years old, so we really wanted it to maintain that cozy cottage vibe. I really believe that deep down people have their strong likes and dislikes for their space, but sometimes they're unable to see those things because maybe their house is too cluttered or it's too dirty or whatever it is. But once you're able to give them that push, they then have more clarity to create the space they've always wanted. So in this makeover, I'm going to be more of the guide in helping her create the space she's always wanted. For example, this mirror, she loved it purchased it. It was a great find on Marketplace. It was only $30. We had been searching for the perfect mirror for the space. We even purchased some that were rather expensive and we didn't like them. They were too modern, not a cozy vibe for a cottage whatsoever. But she found this mirror and immediately, she didn't even tell me that she was buying it. She came home with it. She had a strong pull to it and I just think it's absolutely perfect for the space one thing that we were able to pick up at Lowe's we found the very last cabinet and as a role in being the guide in this makeover I knew that she really needed some more storage in here so I thought we could mount a cabinet all the way to the ceiling and then we could kind of add some open shelving on the other side because we do have to be careful with the window over here and then we could add some more of her decor pieces that she loves but we did want to stain these so mom and tandy's working on staining the cabinets and the shelving outside and if you're ever doing anything like this make sure you follow all of the steps you want to do the pre-stain the stain and then you want to add the polyurethane seal on it 
as many coats as you want depending on how used these are going to be. This is going to make sure when you follow all these steps that it's not blotchy and it's just a very smooth, even finish. We wanted to do something to just bring in a little more warmth for the space. That's why we went with the darker wood. We're going to let those air out outside for a little while and I'm going to start moving some of the other details in the space. This rug, she purchased online because she loved it, but she wasn't quite sure where the size would work in our space, but she was really interested to try out a ruggable rug, which is where this is from. So it's a fully washable rug, which is so amazing if you have pets. And I suggested we try it in the laundry room and we both loved it. It's just so cozy in here. We haven't washed it yet, but the idea of washable rugs, I love. Next is to keep adding more details from all that stuff that we collected in the Extreme Declutter in the first episode. We get to now go shopping through all of those things that we set aside. So first we have this toilet paper roll that she had been saving to use for something. And we thought, let's just... Actually, I think it was a hand towel roll, but we're going to use it as a toilet paper roll right here. And it's just so fun to post declutter, be able to go shopping from the items that you've collected over many years that you love and that just bring you happiness whenever you see them. So this was the little adorable birdie little hook. And I thought, why don't we just use this as a towel rack? We need something for hand towels and it would be fun to have an assortment of different ones that you could choose from so that you could bring more color throughout the year in the space or patterns or textures, anything like that. You could have an option to continually change out. I'm a huge fan of using items that you already have, but this bathroom is going to be a game changer for their entire way of life in this house. And we wanted it to be special. So we went shopping to add a few extra special details to the space. We went to Target and Target's where we live are quite picked over these days. So we just grabbed whatever hand towels we could find and then we got this basket. I think it might be from the Joanna Gaines line or from the Studio McGee line. We also went to Lush because I think having a scent in your bathroom that just makes you feel so good is so important. We grabbed the Karma Bar from Lush. It smells so damn good. And then we went out to one of our favorite places to go walking. And we clipped a lot of the dead foliage, which is absolutely free, which is awesome. It's going to save us some money. I love it because we can put these in her bathroom and she'll always be reminded of the space that she loves. We're going to add these above the toilet. She got these cute little leaf hooks from Etsy. And I thought it just needed a little bit of height in this area. So our plan is to put this in the basket. She had seen this online and we wanted to try it that's spraying these with unscented hairspray before you put them up so that they're preserved for longer. So that's what I'm doing right now. We had measured this before, so we knew it was going to fit, but you just always want to make sure you want to see it fit whenever you're done. To make it easy on her, I'm going to put all of the cleaning products on top of the washer so that it's easy for us to go through. And she's really introducing me to a lot of companies I haven't heard of before. This is Grove. I don't know much about them. I just know that they have really pretty bottles. <laughs> Some kind of a subscription service that you can do. Um, I have nothing else to say other than, look, these are really nice glass bottles. I'm a huge fan of having very sleek, sophisticated looking glass bottles when you clean. And this is cool because you can rotate those little silicone sleeves and you see it has a name there. It changes um, like you can move it around so it can say whatever you want it to say, like the all purpose cleaner. And we have one for Windex. I'm going to swap out these bottles and then we're just going to put everything temporarily in the cabinet. We're still waiting on all of the doors and the shelves to dry outside. So we'll install those later. The one thing that really amazed me was whenever you sit on this toilet now, it just looks so much bigger because your eyes are drawn upward with the cabinet. 
I wish that I could have shown you appropriate before and afters, but it was amazing just how much bigger the space felt by adding that. Next, we really wanted to replace the doors. She doesn't like these. She wanted something very earthy, you know, like a natural wood door, but hey, those are really expensive and we're trying to balance our splurging and our saving. So we thought, let's just paint the doors. It's a very inexpensive fix and we'll update all of the hinges and the knobs as well. Jackson is now working on cutting the shelves so that they fit perfectly in the space. And a very special thanks to Jackson because he is not on camera and doesn't take a lot of credit for these projects, but he did so much and has been doing so much behind the scenes to make these makeovers happen for his parents. So thank you, Jackson. And now here's a montage that he created of installing the shelves. For the trim paint and the door, we used the same color, Perfect Grage, but we used it in a satin finish. And I'm just quickly cleaning up because now it's time to do the final installs and set everything. We have these new hinges that we ordered and I think they're really beautiful. They're very sturdy. We got them on Amazon and they were really affordable price. And then one other little detail we found at Target, which was so cute, was this WC sign. And we'd been thinking what to name this bathroom. And we settled on water closet. And it really couldn't be more perfect or more cute for her space and for her style. Another thing we did was add this towel bar. She also already had this. And this is great for if you need to hang dry anything. But how sleek does that door look? It's time to add some final touches and show you the final look.
We started with this laundry room makeover first because we knew that functionally this would make the biggest difference in their space and it is and it has already been doing that. A few things that I wanted to quickly show you. We did get this light, which we forgot to paint the trim around it. We'll have to go back and do that. We already had this installed. It was an existing porch light. We just swapped it for this much cuter decorative one that I think adds a lot of character to the space, even though it's just such a small detail. And a quick tip, if you are buying a toilet, do yourself a favor and get one of these with this very smooth side. You know how the other ones like hair gets caught down there? No. Upgrade to this one whenever it's time and you know I love a good soft closed toilet seat. It's the quickest way to upgrade the entire feel of your bathroom because no one should ever have to see the inside of your toilet bowl. I think this turned out so well. It really is a cozy Pacific Northwest cottage. I just love everything and we used what we had. We incorporated a few extra details and they invested into their property by creating an additional bathroom. The last thing that we have to do is finally instate that this is a bathroom we can use. So we wash our hands, we flush our toilet, and now it's a bathroom open for use. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this extreme laundry room makeover. More episodes of the series coming soon.